everyone, and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. Today, I want to discuss why Newt was able to keep his wand after his expulsion from Hogwarts. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We find out in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them that Newt Scamander was expelled from Hogwarts school. So how does he keep his wand? From previous Harry Potter films, we know that when getting expelled from Hogwarts, your wand is destroyed by the Ministry of Magic. When Newt and his best friend Lita Lestrange were 16, Lita's illegal experiment with a magical beast endangered the life of another student. However, Newt took the blame for the incident, which resulted in him getting expelled from Hogwarts. Despite this, Newt clearly still cast spells throughout the Fantastic Beasts film series, raising questions as to how exactly Newt retained his wand. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets explains that Rubius Hagrid was expelled from Hogwarts for supposedly committing the same crime, endangering another student with a beast. A lover of magical creatures, Hagrid adopted Aragog, an enormous spider, when he was 13 and secretly kept him as a pet. Unfortunately, Tom Riddle, who would later become Voldemort, opened the Chamber of Secrets that year and began attacking students with the basilisk, even killing one girl. To avoid suspicion, Riddle framed Hagrid and his spider for the attacks, leading to Hagrid's expulsion. Due to this, Hagrid's wand was snapped and he could not perform proper magic. These different outcomes raise questions of how Newt was able to keep his wand while Hagrid's wand was destroyed. Although Hagrid was expelled for a more severe crime given that a student died, Newt's offense was still supposed to receive the same punishment. A theory about this is the key difference that Newt's expulsion was never enforced. Instead, Newt was allowed to continue studying at Hogwarts, graduating with his wand intact the next year. This theory argues that Newt was able to stay at Hogwarts due to Albus Dumbledore defending him which is supported by Newt's magical skills in the Fantastic Beasts movies. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Percival Graves mentioned during an interrogation that Dumbledore had argued against Newt's expulsion. Citing a Macusa document from a companion book, this theory holds that Dumbledore's intervention succeeded. The document also explains that due to Dumbledore defending him, Newt's name was cleared and he was allowed to keep his wand to continue his studies. Although it's unclear why Dumbledore defended Newt, he may have known Newt was not at fault for the incident with the beast. In Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, Dumbledore explained that he admired Newt for always doing the right thing. So he may have suspected that Newt was protecting Leta and did not want him to be punished on her behalf. Further evidence that Newt kept his wand because he was never expelled includes the type of magic he uses. Throughout the Fantastic Beasts film, Newt proved himself as a skilled wizard, frequently performing difficult spells such as apparition or teleportation. His ability to apparate is notable because Hogwarts students only learn how to apparate in a special course when they are 17 years old, suggesting that Newt was still at Hogwarts the next year after the incident, the Beast. This indicates that, although Newt was meant to be expelled from Hogwarts, Dumbledore successfully prevented it, ensuring that Newt could graduate and still have his wand in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this theory, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.